Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. Thank you for all your comments and questions that you guys have posted on our YouTube channel. After reading them all and answering as many as possible, I've selected five that we're gonna include in this week's Q&A video. Each of these individuals I've selected will receive a complimentary pair of our Wellington shoelaces as a token of our appreciation for their participation in our channel. In today's Q&A video, we're gonna be answering your questions about garment brushes. Garment brushes are an essential accessory to have in any wardrobe for proper maintenance. And here at The Hanger Project, we absolutely recommend that you have a natural bristled garment brush. Now this is in contrast to the standard kind of adhesive roller brush that you see. And the reason that a natural bristled garment brush is so important is first and foremost, the natural bristles actually get into the fabric itself to brush out any type of embedded dirt or dust, uh, and then also to uh, re-fluff uh, the pile of the fabric. The second reason you want to use a natural bristled garment brush is because an adhesive roller will actually leave an adhesive residue or a residual adhesive residue onto the fabric. And so you can actually damage the fabric uh, or it actually can uh, attract more dust and dirt uh, because of that adhesive residue. So uh, any type of fine uh, clothing, uh, absolutely, you always want a natural bristled garment brush. Now here at The Hanger Project, we searched high and low for the best garment brush, uh, and we really came up uh, shorthanded, to be quite honest. Uh, there are the companies that everyone knows, um, you know, that, uh, that do garment brushes, that are really well known with garment brushes. Uh, but in all honesty, uh, over the last 15 or 20 years, you know, the quality of garment brushes have really gone down. Uh, for one, they've started using shorter uh, cut links on the bristle uh, and less dis dense bristle. So about you know, three or four years ago, I really set out to do my own garment brush, and it took me two to three years to find the breast, best brush maker in the world. And I can say now that with our double-sided garment brush, uh, we do uh, what is now the best garment brush. Uh, it's double-sided, so on one side we have a shorter pinned uh, black pig bristle, uh, that is stiffer. This is for your hard finish, kind of worsted wools, suiting, uh, even uh, like uh, cotton jeans. Uh, this is great for. Uh, but on the other side, we have something that's quite unique and really totally unique to us. And this is an offset pinned pig bristle. So we offset pin this because the pig bristle is only available in a certain maximum length. And so in order to get a softer bristle, you need a longer length. And we do that by pinning the bristle instead of in the middle like we do on this side, we pin it three quarters over to one side which allows that bristle length to elongate. So this is perfect for like the jacket I'm wearing which is a nice kind of soft cashmere. You don't want to use anything that's too stiff because it can damage the fabric. This is done uh, out of a beautiful ebony wood, uh, a real ebony, so it has an incredible weight to it. I mean, this is an heirloom quality uh, garment brush, uh, but we do the same brush out of a maple wood that is a little bit less expensive, uh, that is uh, the same quality, uh, just not quite as exotic of a wood. Now with that said, let's get into our Q&A questions. Uh, our first question today is from Bibby Bop, and it reads, uh, Hi Kirby, I have a garment brush and a pea coat, uh, but whenever I brush, navy fibers from the coat fall off. I do not want to ruin the coat by doing this. Uh, what do you recommend to clean the coat? It tends to get a little linty. Um, so I, I think what we're getting to here is that if you use a bristle that is too hard or too stiff, you can in fact damage uh, the fabric of a, of a jacket. And so uh, I would recommend, you know, if you don't have a, a softer bristle, uh, to just brush it lighter. You know, maybe you're just using the edge of the brush as opposed to the full, um, you know, the full head or invest in a proper garment brush that has uh, two different bristle stiffnesses so you can use you know, the lighter side, uh, the less stiff bristle on those more delicate fabrics. Our second question today is from a frequent commenter, uh, Jaeger Le Couture Reverso Classique. Uh, this gentleman must have an incredible watch collection. Uh, you know, the Reverso is one of my favorite watches. Don't have one, but hope to have one soon. And this is on our Q&A 18 on Garment Care. It says, another fantastic video, Kirby. Uh, thank you. Quick question, what's the main difference between a garment brush and a shoe shine brush? Do I need a specific type of brush for my suits and my jackets? Or could I just use a regular horsehair brush for shoes as long as it's never been used for polishing? So uh, it's really a great question. Uh, and the short answer is that, you know, there's really no fundamental difference between a shoe shine brush and a garment brush uh, other than the fact that Normally with uh, garment brushes, 
uh, uh, pig bristle is used, uh, and uh, shoe shine brushes are normally out of a horse, horse hair. Uh, but as long as you don't use that brush uh, on your shoes and you're only using it for your garments, uh, you could absolutely use a, a shoe shine brush uh, in lieu of a garment brush, uh, absolutely. Now, it's not going to have the different stiffnesses and bristles like our double-sided brush, uh, but it would absolutely work. Uh, in the same way that you can use a pig bristled shoe shine brush, you know, really in lieu of a suede brush. I mean, again, as long as it has those stiffer bristles and you don't have any polish on it, you can absolutely substitute uh, a nice stiff bristled uh, shoe shine brush for a suede brush. Our third question today is from a, a IO, 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 um, and it uh, reads, uh, on your website you offer several cashmere and wool brushes and other products for wool. Uh, can you please make a video about caring for wool garments, especially sweaters and cardigans that are made from cashmere, mohair, and angora? How often should they be brushed and how to get rid of piling? Uh, this is a great question. On any type of soft knitwear, you really don't want to be using a garment brush. I mean, you can use the soft bristle to, to get some dirt or anything out or any dust that's settled, you know, some light brushing, but I would only do it with the softest uh, bristle of a garment brush. Because most knitwear is done from a soft yarn, uh, if you brush it too hard, uh, you can uh, really brush the yarn uh, and damage it. And so uh, I would use uh, just light brushing with a cashmere uh, bristle, but never kind of the stiffer or worsted bristle. Now, as far as garment care goes, uh, for wool sweaters or cashmere sweaters, uh, we have some uh, wool brushes uh, and wool combs that you can actually use to brush the sweater to get any of the piling off. And that's probably the best thing that you want to do for care is because, you know, even the finest quality long staple yarns uh, are going to pile a little bit. And so you can either take some scissors, cut them off, you can prick them off with your fingers, or you can use something like the laundry sweater comb uh, or the sweater stone in order to get those off. You know, the lifetime of any great piece of knitwear can be measured in how many times you've sent it to the dry cleaner. Uh, I recommend, you know, laundering or, or dry cleaning something like a fine piece of knitwear uh, as infrequently as often, really only as needed. And even then, I would make sure you send it to a really high quality dry cleaner that's going to be able to reblock it to prevent any type of um, stretching or shrinking and is able to really take care of that piece properly. Uh, I store all my knitwear uh, in a sweater box out of season. You want to fold your knitwear. Now we do have sweater hangers that allow you to hang something like a piece of knitwear in season, uh, but out of season you want to make sure that you're folding those garments and then storing them in a proper garment brush. Uh, have a moth trap in your closet so that you can detect whether or not you have any type of moth problems because uh, that is the fastest way to ruin a nice beautiful cashmere wool knitwear. Of course, we've got extensive videos on all of these topics on our YouTube channel, uh, or check the description of this video, and we'll list them out there uh, so you can see what those videos are that we recommend in our library uh, for specifically uh, garment care of knitwear uh, and the prevention of moths in your closet. Our fourth question today is from Vasil Veliki, and it reads, uh, how do you remove any, any hairs that are on the garment? Uh, any of the brushes I have don't help. So another great question. So, uh, you know, garment brushes are really good for just general garment maintenance for any type of uh, embedded dust. You know, like if your garment's been sitting in your closet and you don't have something like a shoulder cover on it, uh, it's great. Any type of dried dirt or anything else, you know, that you actually need to get out of the nap, garment brushes are perfect. Uh, but probably one of the most difficult things to get off of a garment uh, is cat hair. And so, um, you know, cat hair is incredibly difficult. And one of the tricks is, is that you can gently uh, wet the bristles of your garment brush, and that really helps it pick up the cat hair. So, uh, you know, you can spritz it, you know, you can run your hand under the, uh, under the sink and just put some water on the bristle. It's not gonna damage a natural bristle. Uh, and then you brush the garment, um, and uh, I would do it with the cashmere kind of softer bristle, uh, but that'll absolutely help pull uh, that hair off. If you don't have a garment brush and say you're traveling or something, you know, as long as you find a, um, you know, some type of washcloth that isn't going to lint on the garment, something that has a real kind of tight weave to it. Uh, you can wrap that around your head and wet that also and just kind of pat down the garment and that'll help pull any type of cat hair off. That gets into our next question, which is from a Yang Lu. And he says, I'm wondering at times how to clean the brush. Um, so that is a great question. Uh, you know, garment brushes really shouldn't need much cleaning, uh, but the easiest way to clean a garment brush in all seriousness is just to take the bristle and rub it across a clean hand. 
I mean, as long as your hand isn't particularly oily or dirty, um, you know, just rubbing it across your hand is going to clean anything that's uh, on those bristles off. And that's really all you need to do to clean a garment brush. Now that said, uh, you know, garment brushes are garment brushes. You should only use them on garments. Uh, you know, resist the temptation to use the stiffer bristle to, you know, clean a pair of suede shoes or something. Uh, because again, you do want to keep this bristle clean and, and free of anything that could discharge onto your other garments. If you want to learn more about our uh, the garment brushes here at The Hanger Project, we have a video specifically on the double-sided garment brush. If you have any other questions uh, that we didn't answer in this video about garment brushes and general garment care, please ask them in the comment section below. If you thought of any new questions uh, while watching this video, ask them in the comment section below. Uh, or if you have any other tips or tricks that you've learned over the years that you'd like to share with all of us, please put those in the comments section below. I read all of those comments and really do enjoy getting back to as many of them as I possibly can. If you haven't taken an opportunity to ask a question or make a comment, I invite you to do so. Even if you don't have any questions to ask, just sharing your opinion or your thoughts help make our content better for everyone. I read all those comments and questions and really do personally get back to as many of those as possible. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me.